What's up ninjas, it's Fuzzy, back at again with another episode of Fuzzy Outdoors TV. Hope everything's going great on your side of the net. In this one, we have kind of the, I think it's going to be a breakup with my Team KVD Quantum Reel. Stay tuned. Yeah, so I unboxed this reel a little while back, and I, you know, I was a little reserved um, when I got it out of the box. You know, everything was real stiff. You know, the the bearings didn't seem like the, you know, everything was was real smooth. It just wasn't um, wasn't too impressive. I messed with it for a little while and started to open up. Even throughout the video, you could see it, it was a little bit better. So I decided I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna put it on a nice medium heavy action rod take it out and you do some Senko fishing with it. That's how I like to fish my Senkos. Um, unless I'm finesse fishing them, then I'll use a uh, spinning reel. But, you know, use this one and, uh, and just see what happened with it. And I gotta say, guys, it's been one disappointment right after another. All right, so first, the braking system, you know, I, I, you know, I know that it's, you know, it's probably not the best in the world. And we had a lot of problems getting this guy just tuned up. And I may make a video someday soon about uh, you know how to tune up your reel, get it, get it set up per the bait, per whatever, for all that stuff. But I just had a hard time getting this thing to rock and roll. And so that was my first little hiccup. First day fishing with it, everything's going great, and you know we're we're doing all right, right? It, and then I noticed off uh, one retrieve, I casted it out and. You know, I start to reel it back, and I, uh, it just wasn't as smooth. It's almost like you can feel those bearings and feel all those gears in there working. It's just not smooth. It's not a smooth operation. Smooth operator. <laughs> anyway, so it just wasn't, uh, wasn't as smooth as I want, but that's not a deal killer. Here was the deal killer. Four times I've taken this thing out fishing since we bought it. Four. One, two, three. Four times. And I can't get it to recreate it. You see, we've done this now how many times? It's locking in. But the last two times I've gone fishing, I've casted this thing out, I've went to lock it back, and I don't get that good click that you just hear. It gives me a kind of a half-ass click. And then, all of a sudden, I can't get it to recreate it. It, it will not reel in. It's trying, and you can hear it. It goes like it's trying to go ahead and start reeling back in, but it doesn't do it. And for the life of me, I can't get it to recreate it. It does it when it wants to, and that to me is the most inopportune thing in the world. If I've got a big fish, Y'all know how it is. Y'all thrown these Senkos out, right? You hit a Senko out, or any other bait. You know, the, the bass hammers it as soon as it hits the water, and you've got to reel and set the hook. The last thing I need is this daggum thing to not engage, and all of a sudden I'm setting a hook on slack line. You know, it could be, it could be a, you know, for tournament anglers, it could be a deal killer, right? You could lose a tournament over that kind of crap. And, you know, for just the recreational angler, it could be, angler, it could be the best bass of your life. It, it's, it's frustrating. So, we're breaking up. I'm done. I'm going back to my, uh, my other reels. And so I wanted to elaborate on that just a little bit. This is my opinion on what you need to do when you buy equipment. Yes, you could go spend $100, $150, $200. You could go get custom rods that are absolutely insanely priced, right? I don't think you need it. That's me. I am the kayak fisherman. We, we are the affordable line of fishing, right? I want to get out on the water and catch fish. I am perfectly content with a $40 ugly stick. Now, granted, granted, I know. Don't yell at me. Don't yell at me. It's not the best rod out there. It's really not. Uh, the action's not the best. But for getting out on the water, absolute most important thing to me is a very, 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 very high quality reel. All right. So if you've got $200 to spend for, and you're a young angler, 
you're gonna have money later to get a really, really nice rod, all right? I would invest in the raw, the real first, all right? Yes, I know you can spend more than $200 on a reel alone, all right? But I think that sweet spot, right around $100 to $150 for a reel, from any manufacturer, you're getting a really, really high quality product. When you try to go like this one, and you're getting a $60 reel or even cheaper, you're running yourself into issues that are gonna happen in the long run, like the ones that I'm having with this reel. These reels that I have back over here, I've had for, oh my God, I'm not gonna tell you how long I've had those. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 15 years I've been rocking the same reels, but I spent $150 to $200 on the reels when I bought them, and I take care of them, and they last. If you've got the money to spend $200 on a rod, go spend it. Why are you watching this? If you... <laughs> If you've got the money to spend $300 on a reel, go spend it. My mind, go out, get you a very high quality reel, get you the best rod that you can, and go out and catch you some fish, guys. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video as much as I did making it for you. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you really liked the video, share it to your friends so they can become ninjas too. And what I want you to do is go down below the screen, hit that subscribe button, become a ninja. It is that easy. Then you can go back, check out our other videos, and you can take part in our giveaways. We're going to have a new uh, giveaway coming up this month in June, June 31st. There's a May 31st giveaway. You have a little bit of time left to jump in on that, so go ahead and do it, guys. Other than that, I appreciate you guys watching my videos from the bottom of my heart. I've got so much stuff to do and so many videos to film. I've actually got a list of videos to go out and film that I'm having to keep track of so I don't forget what I promised you guys, okay? They are coming. They're going to be pumped out as often as possible. Hopefully multiple videos a week. And we are about to get some badass kayak fishing videos. So, stay tuned. Love you guys. Oh,